How are we doing folks? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to take a look at how we make custom liveries for Microsoft Flight Simulator using Blender. Now, before we go any further, please don't skip around with this video. If you want to watch it, watch it. If you don't, fair enough. But one thing I say at the start might then, you may need to remember for a part in the middle or near the end. And if you're jumping around, things may not make sense. So I urge you to just uh, give it your full attention, watch the whole thing. And uh, hopefully by the end of it, you'll know how to make a custom livery for your aircraft in Blender. Now, this tutorial is not really a specific tutorial on, say, how to make a livery for the Boeing 777 or the 737 or the A320. This is more a tutorial to show you in general how to make a custom livery using Blender. Then you can apply that knowledge and hopefully take it to all sorts of different aircraft. Now, for this example, we are going to be using the Airbus A320, the stock Airbus A320 that comes with the sim. So, um, Basically, everyone who plays The Sim can hopefully make use of this tutorial. Okay, so first of all, we're going to need a paint kit, and where better to start than flightsim.to? What you need to do, head up to the top menu bar, click Others, wait for it to load, then we're going to scroll down and come down to Paint Kits. If we filter by uh, most downloads, this one here, the yellow one, nice and easy to spot, and uh, we will click into that and get it downloaded. I already have it downloaded and it's right here on my desktop. So let's have a look at the folder structure inside of it. So the folder here, Livery Asobo a 320 do template, you can literally copy that and dump it into your community folder and you will basically get a yellow version of the Airbus A320 for you to use in the sim. As for the community folder, I've got mine shortcutted over here. The location of your community folder will vary depending on how you installed the sim. If you installed it through the Xbox app, i.e. through Game Pass on the PC, it will be in one location. If you installed via Steam, it will be somewhere else. Look in the description of the video. I'm going to put the locations um, for both uh, Steam and the Xbox app in there, and then uh, you can hopefully find it. Okay, so really the one we want here to start with is this Blender file. So you're going to need to install Blender. It's a free application, and it's like kind of 3D modeling software. So let's uh, double click that, load it in, and we will have a look and see what we get. All right, folks, so here we are in Blender looking at the 3D model of our Airbus A320. Let's get our workspace set up just a little bit. So we're going to go up to the top left corner and wait until your cursor turns into a bit of a crosshair. There it is. Click. So left click, hold and drag. And you notice you get a duplicate of your workspace. Of course, we don't want the left hand side to be a duplicate. We want it to be something else. So up in the top left, click on this button, reveal a menu and go into image editor. This will all make sense in a minute. I promise. So looking over here on the right hand side, you notice how we are in object mode at the moment. The two modes we're going to be using mostly is object mode and texture paint. So object mode is where you can basically start clicking around and selecting objects on the 3D model. Notice how the main fuselage is separate to the rudder fin. Uh, we'll go over how to overlay graphics over the both of them so they all line up nicely shortly. Similarly, we've got the door is separate to the fuselage and it's the same principle that applies there. So. No need to worry about that. What we're going to do, though, of course, because this livery, as you saw on flightsim.to, is bright orange, we need to clean it up because I'd like a white livery. And, of course, if we were to just chuck what we've been given from flightsim.to and chuck it straight in the community folder in the sim, we're going to get a bright orange Airbus. Um, I would like to get us a nice white Airbus, and then we'll start putting graphics on top of that. So to get things cleaned up, let's start with the main fuselage. We've already got that selected. So let's now go into texture paint mode and you'll kind of get a sense of what I'm talking about. There's the orange. And if we zoom out on the left here, you can see this is basically the texture file that goes into the sim. And you can see here, this piece here represents uh, the front of the fuselage. So if you imagine that sort of gets wrapped around this section, you can see almost a cutout there for the wing on either side. This here is the back, this here is the tail, and I think we've got various other bits. This is the uh, the underbelly and some various uh, flaps and things like that. So what we want to do is to make this all white. So if we use our paint bucket tool, uh, notice how actually the color is like set to a green because we've changed tools. Let's just change that to white. One, two, three, four, five, six Fs so will get us a nice white. And we can just click on the fuselage and notice how so much of this now has turned to white. But some bits are still orange. So what you can do over here on the left hand side to clean up these other little bits, uh, if we come and click over here near this, see this little tiny little arrow poking out? If we click and then go into paint mode, you see we then get our 
paint bucket tool over here, we can just go around and start clicking these big old blocks of orange that we don't really want. And if you see things like these windows and kind of like this little block here that might take a while because obviously every different shade of orange you have to individually click, just get your paintbrush and you can whiz right over the lot. So I'm gonna spend a couple of minutes here and just get this all cleaned up. The most important ones to consider actually um, are these two bits here. Because if you click on the paint bucket tool and set them to white, you see a little bit of a weird border is left. You will actually see that in the sim once your plane loads in. So if you're very careful, you can click on the little bits that are left and they'll just go away. I'm very conscious that this might be the wrong way to be doing it. I feel like this is a hard way to solve this problem, but it is quick. It's a little bit quick and dirty, but it is quick and it does work. So, okay, good. So the next thing to look at, if we go back into object mode is the wings. So if we click on a wing, go back into texture paint mode, you'll see we'll get now the file that does the wing. Now this bit here is the bit we wanna take careful note of because this is actually the rudder fin that we're gonna to need um, to sort out shortly. So we're gonna make that white and we'll do these two bits here, white and this bit white. These bits on top of the wing, um, you can see it's highlighted one of them orange for us here in the 3D model. I don't actually want that white. I want that to be like a gray, um, almost like a metallic-y kind of gray. So I'm just gonna pinch one using the color dropper from over here, then use our paint bucket tool to make them gray so it'll sort of look like a industrially kind of metal, kind of what you'd expect to see if you were to look out the window on an Airbus A320. Now those of you thinking, why aren't you just using a base color? Well, the base color is fine, except it wipes out a lot of the detail in this file, because if I make a, a white base color, as far as I'm aware anyway, um, it will actually make, say I made it white, it will make this entire square white. So all of these little bits here, bits of little detail that will go onto the plane will be lost, which is why I'm kind of having to do it the hard way. Uh, the next thing we need to do is just sort out the engines. So into object mode, click on an engine, back into texture paint and it will load the appropriate texture file here. On the left, you can see the orange bits. Um, as for engines, I just make them solid colors and I don't really know how to do it any other way. So if you're here asking, how do I put a fancy graphic on an engine? Um, the answer is I don't know, really sorry. So what I'm gonna do is with my brush tool, I think we'll make the engines like a dark blue color. That's pretty good. Then we just literally with our paint bucket tool, click, click, just click the orange basically. Don't be alarmed about the backside of the engine, it'll be good. And we are there. So I'd say we've got this model cleaned up quite nicely and we can start to think about getting some graphics overlaid. Okay, so now we've got the model cleaned up, we can start to think about overlaying some graphics and getting them painted onto the plane. Now keep in mind that we only had to do all this cleaning up because the uh, model that we were provided in the paint kit was bright orange. If you're fortunate enough to find one that's already colored white, then you can just skip this entire step. So that's kind of good news if you can do that. Anyway, the livery is cleaned up now for this model so we can go ahead and start getting some graphics painted onto it. So we need to go into object mode, first of all. Notice the X, Y, Z markers up here. If you start clicking these around, you notice how you get a perfect side on view of the plane. Let's start with the fuselage. I'm gonna put a logo on the side here just to show you how we do that. Uh, so we're in object mode at the moment. We've selected our fuselage. It's highlighted in orange, which is great. Now let's go into texture paint mode. Change from our fill bucket tool into our paintbrush tool. Then we need to go up to this little screwdriver and spanner icon. Go down to brush settings. And if it's not already, make sure your brush is set to white. Ours is, so that's great news. Go into texture. Click new, make sure this is on stencil. If it's not on stencil, I hate to say it, but this whole thing just isn't gonna work out for you. Uh, then we need to go to the checkerboard menu over here. Then we need to click on open. Then I'm gonna to go to my desktop and find the AirNot logo. Open image, and there it is. You see we've got this uh, giant AirNot badge. If you click, uh, right click, sorry, and hold, you can then drag it around. If you do hold shift, right click, and then move your mouse around, you can see you can scale it. Now to me, this looks a little bit out of aspect ratio. So back into the spanner and the screwdriver, come all the way down and click image aspect. 
That's better. That looks like the right aspect ratio now. Still far too big at the moment. So hold shift, hold right click, and let's just bring it on in. I would say that there is looking reasonably okay. Of course, if you want to adjust the angle, things like that, you can do to rotate it. And now we've got it in the right place. All we need to do is we see we've got our circular brush tool here. Uh, all we need to do is basically left click and drag. Now I've just heard my PC fan spin up and you'll notice that my cursor did not follow uh, what I was doing there and my PC has hung kind of. This is 3D modeling. It's fairly intensive, hardcore stuff for your PC to do. So I'm not the least bit surprised that what has just happened has happened. It's just a case of waiting for the PC to catch up. There you go, you can see part of it's done. And now we've got a big old drag across. And there it is, it's completed. It's finally caught up. I thought my PC was gonna hang there for a moment, but you can see it's basically painted that graphic onto our fuselage. Just thinking about it, I set my brush radius to 60 pixels. I wonder if I set it back to like 20, whether it would uh, give us an easier time on the next one. So the next thing we wanna do is get something on our tail. So what I'm gonna do is back into the checkerboard area. So we're gonna swap out the Air Not logo for a different one, like a circular logo that's gonna go across the tail and the rudder fin. So if we come over here, click on the little folder icon. I've got Air Not Circle logo on my desktop ready to go. Open the image. But as you can see, the image is uh, not in aspect. So back into the screwdriver and the spanner, come back down, click image aspect, and now it is in aspect, it's really weird. Hold right click, drag it to where we want it. I think just about there, maybe you need to make it a bit smaller. Yeah, just about there is good. And then once again, so we're only doing the fuselage at the moment. We're gonna paint it onto the, uh, onto the main fuselage area and then I'll show you what to do to get it onto the rudder fin section as well so it all lines up. So it's just a case of clicking, left clicking that is, and then sort of dragging your brush across and it transfers it just like a stencil, hence we're in stencil mode, onto the fuselage. Now, how do we get it onto the rudder fin? So without moving your camera, without moving anything, come up to the top here, come out of texture paint mode, into object mode, select the rudder fin, back into texture paint mode, and you see the uh, circular logo is exactly where we left it. And now what we need to do is just do the same again However, this time we're not gonna be painting the main fuselage, we're just gonna be painting the rudder fin. So let's just paint away. Again, the PC's having a bit of a hard time, but then this is quite intensive. So it's 3D modeling after all. And there it is, you see it's appeared over here on the left. That's all good now. Now it's the same story on the other side of the plane. So if you sort of click your little Y thing around, we can reposition our N logo over here. Pop it on the other side of the rudder fin. Probably not in exactly the right spot, but yeah, it's near enough. Then we can go back to object mode, click on the main fuselage, back into texture paint, and then paint it on the tail as well. Now, obviously the Air Not logo that we had, you may need to uh, reverse that, almost do like a, a mirror image, because sometimes what works on the left doesn't always work on the right, depending on the style of logo. I think we'll be okay in this instance. Um, so we could quickly go back into the checkerboard area Click on the little folder, Air Not logo. Obviously it's out of aspect again, so back into the spanner and the screwdriver. Click image aspect, that's looking a bit better. I guess we could put it round about there. That does look a little bit on the small side. Might need to make it a bit bigger. Uh, yeah, that'll do. We'll just paint that onto there. Again, you can see my PC's having a hard time keeping up. Yeah, mum. We'll give it a minute, let it play catch up, and we can call this one, more or less, done. So the next phase is to get the uh, get these graphics out of Blender and into the sim. So I'll show you how to do that next. Okay, so now we need to get our graphics out of Blender into the simulator. So first things first, we need to use this drop-down menu up here. You see we've got the uh, our three textures here at the bottom. We've got engine textures, a fuselage texture, and wings texture. Let's start with the engines. And there's our blue that we selected earlier. So all we need to do is go to the image menu here at the top, go to save as. I'm just gonna save these to my desktop. So that's saved out, that's the engines. 
Then back up to this drop down menu here, select the fuselage. And again, up to the image menu, save as. We're on the desktop, that's good. Save image as. And it's a rinse and repeat with the wings. Up to the image menu, save as. Save to my desktop. And there we have it. So here are the images on my desktop. These are PNG images. Um, so they're actually no good whatsoever to put into the uh, livery folder that we've been given because the sim needs to have DDS files. That it stands for direct draw surface. So we need to convert these PNGs into DDS files. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So what we need to do is use a free piece of software called paint.net. So I've already got that installed on my system. So let's start with the engines and we're gonna do right click, open with paint.net and that's gonna open our PNG image. There it is. So now we just need to go to file, save as. Uh, we're gonna switch over to a DDS in the drop down menu here. We're gonna go into our A320 uh, template livery folder. So that's what we downloaded from flightsim.to. We're gonna save it into this folder here, livery-asobo A320 Neo template. Now this folder is the folder we can literally copy and paste into our community folder. If we did that now, of course, we'd get a bright orange A320. We don't want that. We want the one that we've designed. So let's save our DDS files into here and overwrite the orange ones. So into the folder, sim objects, airplanes, Asobo A320 Neo template, texture dot template. Now this is the engines one we're doing at the moment. So let's just wait for these previews to load in. This will help us decide what to do. Here's the engine folder you can see, uh, or the engine file I should say. You can see there's all the orange bits in there. So click on it, click save. Do we want to overwrite? Yes, we do. Click OK and we're done. Now let's do the fuselage. So right click, open with paint.net. There it is, file, save as, change to a DDS file into the livery template folder, sim objects, airplanes, texture.template, fuselage, save yes we want to overwrite and okay and then last but not least the wings right click open with paint.net file save as change the dds into the template folder sim objects airplanes a320 neo template texture.template click on the wings click save overwrite click okay and we are good. So now if we get rid of that, open up our uh, folder here on the desktop, which contains this folder here, Livery Asobo A320 Neo template, we can now drop that into the sim. So let's right click, copy into my community folder. I will put um, locations of where your community folder might be. Obviously it will vary depending on if you installed via Steam or the Xbox app. Into the community folder, right click, paste, and that is now in your community folder and the livery should be available in the sim so let's go check it out all right so here we are in the sim so let's select our stock airbus a320 go into liveries scroll all the way down and you'll see here we've got our uh, yellow uh, airbus a320 you can replace this image within the livery folder if you want to make a nice snazzy one like uh, the ones here that we've got included but for now this is fine obviously you can change the name and stuff if you want to go into all the uh, the files that are in there for now though, we're gonna spawn at JFK and see what our livery looks like and kind of pray that it works. <laughs> so let's just set that as a departure, jump in and I'll see you on the tarmac. All right, folks, it looks like it worked. I, uh, I don't think we're gonna win any design awards for this livery, but as you can see, we have a nice clean white livery with our custom artwork on board. Our engines are that dark blue color we set it to and our wings are a very nice sort of metallic-y grey colour, just as we would expect to see if you were uh, looking at a real aircraft. So there you have it, folks. We've successfully made a questionable-looking livery for the Airbus A320 using nothing but free software. Notice how we didn't need to do any uh, Photoshop subscriptions. We just use Blender and we use Paint.net and a little bit of uh, elbow grease, but it, it got us there. Now... I realize the comments are probably gonna get lined with comments such as, can you show me how to do this for the PMDG Boeing 737? Or can you show me how to do this for the Phoenix A320? The idea of this tutorial was not to show you specifically for a specific aircraft how to do this. It was to give you a broader set of skills that you can now apply to all sorts of aircraft and all sorts of blender paint kits. Of course, the paint kits will vary like a headwind A330 blender 
paint kit that you open up may look a little bit different and behave slightly differently than the one we've looked at today but hopefully it gives you a, a base level of knowledge for you to move forward with. I can say that paint kits that I found on flightsim.to for the Phoenix A320 and for the ATR72 were very very similar to this and I managed to get liveries made in no time at all. So hopefully you can go ahead and start designing some fantastic liveries. Leave us a comment, um, let us know how you get on or if you've got any questions, if I can help you, of course I will. Obviously it is kind of hard to uh, do a lot of support from a distance, but if it sounds like there's something obvious that you're missing, I'll see if I can point it out for you. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful. Please leave us a like and a sub on the channel if it has been useful to you. And uh, as always, happy flying and I will see you in the next video.